So recently happened something interesting. I was just browsing through internet, watching some different cool designs, and then suddenly I stumbled upon that. And I said, what is that? And I just clicked on it and it looks like these are some kind of funky sunglasses, which are pretty useless, of course, but you know, they look cool and they look stylish, I would say, of course, probably no one's going to wear them, but you know, I saw, hey, can I recreate them in Photoshop using Photoshop's 3D functions? And then I went to Photoshop and created this thing here. So as you can see, I recreated their funky glasses using Photoshop 3D functions and it's a little bit different. I added some of my own styles to this. So as you can see here, we have kind of, it looks like a candy and this is different color and so on. And what we're actually going to do during this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can actually create this kind of 3D shapes and apply them to any image. So why 3D? The benefit of creating this kind of 3D shapes is that you can take any other image and apply these shapes to that image. Because, for example, if you look here, that's what you're going to create. You can actually use them in any direction with any perspective depending on your image. And the same applies to a different, to this one as well. So you're going to create this and I'm going to show you how you can do that in Photoshop pretty easy. I mean, this is of course an advanced tutorial, but still. So again, just to be clear, I'm not going to show you the full project because I spent like three hours on this. But I will show you how I can create these 3D shapes and apply them to your image. If you want to get the full project, which is actually going to be a full length class with many lessons on how to recreate this from zero, you can go to Learn From Fred, which is my online classes, and you can just access all of my premium online classes for free for a whole month. And then you can cancel if you, want, if you don't want to pay, or you can continue if you want to receive more amazing classes every week. And that said, let's get into the tutorial. So let's start the magic. <laughs> let's go to create new and um, make sure width is 1000, height is 1 to 50, perfect size for Instagram, resolution 300, color merge RGB color, and let's press create. So first of all, we have to create the shapes for our 3D shapes. So basically we have to create this kind of funky shape. And in order to do that, let's go to the pen tool, press right. And here we want to choose curvature pen tool. This is going to help us automatically create these curved lines. If you don't have it, that means you have an older version of Photoshop. So I would actually advise you to update, but you can use pen tool if you don't have this tool here. So let's choose curvature pen tool. And let's start drawing. So let's get closer actually. And for example, I press, we need to create five, one, two, three, four, five, five waves basically. We press once again, Again, as you can see, it automatically creates this curved line. So just keep pressing like this. So three. Good job, guys. So now when we did that, we actually need to do, we need to create these lines here, straight lines one and two. So if you look here, it's doing, we need to one straight line here and one straight line here. So in order to do that, first of all, go here, press right and make sure you choose the normal pen tool. Okay. And now, as you can see here, we have this blue point, which basically means that this point is selected. So if I just press here, see what's going to happen? It automatically draws a line from here to here. So now what about this point? So for example, if I press right now here, as you can see, it's going to continue from here. We don't want that. So let's go back. In order to prevent that, let's just go here, press once. Just make sure we have not selected the shape. Now select the shape. As you can see, none of the points are selected. So now if we zoom in a little bit, if we go here and select this point, you can see that the, um, the icon near the pen tool changes and we press once as you can see now this point is selected and then let's just see we just have to create another line no this wasn't straight perfect that's good so now what we need to do we need to make the width more basically we need to make it thicker so if we go now just make sure you press right and choose here pass selection tool and as you can see you select this now go here and make this somewhere around 35 this is fine, but what we actually need to change, as you can see now, our width is coming from this line here. We want our width to be in the middle of this line. And what I mean actually by that, so if we go here, here we have a line, and if we choose the second option, see, boom, now it's in the middle, that's what we need. Also, we need to make sure this is rounded, so as you can see, 
this is straight, we need to make this rounded, and also these parts are straight, we need to make them rounded. So go here to the caps and make them rounded. You see this changed? And also go to the corners and make them rounded as well. This has also changed. Super! So when we did that, now let's go and start creating our 3D shape. But before we do that, let's go and delete this background layer. So let's just select it and just boom. Gone. Also one thing I want you to change is, uh, as you can see, these are pretty weird looking. So if we go here, press right and choose direct se selection tool, we want them to be more rounded. So if you go and press here, for example, to change this point, as you can see, we get these round circles here. And we can just, you know, drag them to make this lines look better so just make sure they're more curved I would say okay so this is already much better and now let's go select our shape go to 3d and new 3d extrusion from selected layer Photoshop is going to ask us if you want to change to the 3d workspace we just click yes Perfect, now we enter the workspace and if, if you have never used that workspace then this is going to look scary for you But don't be afraid guys, I'm going to make sure it's as detailed as possible for you so I understand every single thing So first of all, make sure you have selected here the shape, okay? As you can see we are on 3D layer and here we have different things that you are unfamiliar with most likely But just make sure you select the shape here Now if you look at the properties, we're going to have here for example extrusion depth, shape preset and much more but first of all, let's go to current view. So now when we have this selected, make sure you select this, the first option. And now we can just press and drag to change the view of our shape. And see, boom, we can just look at it from any angle. And we, uh, we can see that it's already quite thick. And we actually need to make this less. So if we go to our shape, select the shape. And here we have extrusion depths. First of all, let's go to shape preset. And we have here different shape presets. It's different and so on. We have to choose this one. This one actually makes sure, as you can see, that our shape is actually rounded. So if I choose current view and I can just move, see what's going to happen. It's actually, it's going like this. It's, so it's like, it's curved, right? So it looks nice. But we also need to have some widths. So let's go to shape. When you have this shape preset selected, let's go to the second option. And here we have extrusion depths. Let's just make this a little bit more. Um, this is too much probably. So let's try two. Okay, so this number is actually going to be different for all of you since you are going to have a different size of the shape, different type of the shape and maybe if the, if the size of your canvas is different, again it's going to be different. So that's why, just make sure you adjust it according to how this looks like, okay, not according to my numbers. So now when we did that, actually this is already fine. So let's go again to current view and if you look from the forward, it looks fine. Now what we actually need to change, we need to change the material. So if we go to the shape and then we go to shape number one, which is the front, we can go here and here we have different materials. And the one that I used in my work here is actually um, this material, this one. Boom. Now we have to apply this material to all of the shapes because this is applied only to the front, but the, um, the side and the back doesn't have the shape. And also if you want to change the color, you can go to diffuse and then you can just, you know, select any color you want to have, like this. But we are going to stick with the original color, so I'll just press cancel. Let's go to the second shape and do the same. So we just do the same for every single shape. And boom, that's perfect. What we also need to do, let's go to current view. As you can see, we have here this shadow, we don't need this. So let's just go to infinite light, because this actually controls the shadow, let's select it. And here we have shadow, just uncheck it and boom, no shadow anymore. Let's go to current view and let's actually make this something like that. And that's perfect guys, good job. So now when we did that, let's go to layers. And let's actually, as you can see on the layers, we have this, we have this kind of arrow, let's just click on it so we close this. And let's uh, actually click somewhere here so we unselect this layer and we are out of this 3D mode. So now we need to create our second shape which is uh, this shape here. And it's going to be straight and then one point here and one point here so it's going to go like this and then like this basically so what we actually need to do first of all let's go here and click essentials so we come back to our essentials uh, panel and now let's go here press right and choose the normal pen tool and again make sure you have here shape selected before you start um, working with this okay so now if i press once 
and then I want this to be straight first of all so I just click hold shift in order to make this to make sure it's straight and then I press once again and make sure this is pretty long okay and now I can just here I need a curved line so I can just press and drag and now here I need another curved line so I just press and drag so make sure you create something like that and again we need to make sure this is around 35 and now we need to go here and uh, make sure our line is like this in the middle caps are rounded and corners are also rounded perfect so now when we did that let's go to let's actually turn this off let's go to 3d and the new 3d extrusion from the selected layer and yes you want to change to the 3d workspace and now we actually have to do everything the, the same for this shape as well so make sure you go to current here select this round tool and just you know watch it from a little bit up so you can see the back as well and now let's go to the shape so first of all let's choose this shape here let's go to the second option and increase the ultimate extrusion so let's make it two not two but make it the same that you had on your first shape okay so I'll just I, I had my I had two on my first shape so I'm just gonna go with two perfect now let's go to the shapes and let's change the materials again this material So now we also want to get rid of the shadow, so let's go to infinite light and turn off the shadow. And let's go to the current view. So this is also already nice. So let's go to layers and let's close this. And let's also click somewhere on the empty space so we don't have the selected and we don't see the 3D space, basically. So now let's take our image and bring it into Photoshop. So this is my image. I want to make sure it's... Um, full size and also I need to make sure it's um, close enough so we we are pretty close to her eyes and also we need to see the oops we also need to see the ears <laughs> I forgot how to call this thing <laughs> so I'll just press ok so first of all we need to bring this image down okay now let's take our um, first this shape here let's turn off the other shape let's get closer and now we actually have to bring this up and let's return this. How are we going to do that? So, now we go to 3D. Make sure you have selected this shape, then go to 3D. And then make sure you have the shape, shape selected basically, okay? So now we can actually work with the shape itself and turn it around and so on. So if I click on the shape, make sure you have this selected. This tool, uh, when it's on the shape, it helps us to turn the shape. When it's on current view, for example, with this tool I can turn the current view. But when this is on the shape, I can actually turn the shape itself, as you can see. That's what we need. But we also need to move the shape. So in order to move it, you can use this move tool, the third one. And we can just, you know, take and just make sure you have the move icon shown. As you can see, move, you can just take and move it. So also another thing to mention is that here you see this kind of um, triangles, arrows basically. This moves up, this moves forward and back and this moves to the left and right so let's just move it a little bit up up and then to the right and then a little bit up as it again also we want to scale this up so we want to make this bigger and here if you go to the middle to this middle square this one you're going to see it's called scale on un scale uniform and un un uniform <laughs> Scale, scale uniformly. How did I get that first time? So anyway, let's just um, let's just click and drag this up. As you can see, it's getting bigger, 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 bigger. Let's zoom out a little bit. Let's make this, bring this up, and now to the right, and a little bit down, actually. So this should be fine. Also, what you can do actually is you can play with this rotate axis. For example, rotate around axis Z. So if I rotate it. I can do like this or like this so it's up to you but if you look to my original image as you can see uh, it's almost even so we see it from front side but we also can see a little bit from the top so you can see we see here a little bit from the top and the same is almost here as you can see we see a little bit from the top what we can actually do if we go here for example rotate around axis Z you can just rotate a little bit and we can also use other axes for example let me find let me find this, this one for example i can rotate it a little bit like this so it it can get pre it can get pretty stressful 
but when you finally learn how to work with these things it's going to be easier okay so this should be fine now we need to add the other part as well and um, let's actually zoom out a little bit so let's go now to layers and let's select the second shape and turn it on so now we need to first of all we need to rotate the shape so go to 3d layers make sure you have selected the shape okay make sure you have selected this rotate tool and now if you go and start rotating this so if you go to the left rotate around y axis and we start rotating it that's what we need okay so make it something like that now we go and uh, we need to find rotate around z axis which is basically up like this perfect and now we need to bring it to the back so if you go here to the red one and we can just move on its axis we just move it to the back and now a little bit down so we go to the y axis and move it a little bit down like this so now what we actually need to do we need to rotate it around y axis again so like this okay and we also need to turn it so if it's like this we need to make it a little bit like this so if we go to the here rotate it around x axis something like that just a little bit so we need to play around as you can see and now we need to bring this up not up up <laughs> and now we need to take the red one and bring this back so now the problem is that this doesn't reach the what is this thing called again the ear <sighs> and if you want it uh, so I mean of course we have to make it reach the ear so how we can do that actually if we go here so we have here we have the main square which basically helps us to increase the size of the whole element of the whole object but if we go here for example you can see that here we are going to have smaller squares you see red uh, blue green red and if I take for example red one it actually will help me to increase it to the back for example if I find it let's m let me s here scale along x and if I can just increase it like this and see what's going to happen it's going to increase and that's what we need right so and now when we did that let's take this red and move it to the back okay and now we just need to rotate this a little bit more so for example if we go to rotate around z axis like this like this just a bit and now let's bring this move on x axis back Whew. so a little bit more I would say so this was stressful but finally we made it <laughs> so let's go now to layers and let's take this shape and bring it to the top so we see it here but the problem is that this doesn't look that realistic right now so what we actually need to do we need to work with on it a little bit more unfortunately so let's select it second shape again and go to 3d so as you can see we need to adjust it every single time I mean, that's why it took me three hours to create this because you need to work a lot so we need to rotate this like this okay now it's better the angle is better now we can take the blue move on axis and bring it to the back and now what we actually need to do is we again we need to scale it from here so scale around along along x and we need to scale it like this okay and now let's take the red move on axis and bring it back and also let's rotate it a little bit and bring it down a little bit fine okay that's much better guys if you did this congratulations good job that was actually pretty difficult especially if you're just starting to learn photoshop 3d so let's now go to layers and let's just click somewhere else so we have all of them turned off so now what we actually need to create is we need to create the shadows and in order to create but first of all before you do that so here you have actually two options so if i click right i can render this which will make it much higher quality but it's going to take lots of time so i'm not going to render it for this tutorial so i'm just gonna go and press convert to smart object and again i'm gonna do it to the second object as well press right and convert to smart object but of course if you want to make it high quality make sure you render it but you'll have to wait some time depending on your depending on the strength of your laptop or computer so first of all to create the shadow let's go and create a new layer just uh, below the shapes 
So now we're just going to, first of all, let's go here and click Essentials. So we go back to our normal working space. Now let's go here, press right and choose our brush tool and make sure you choose the black color. And just we are going to create shadows by ourselves since I think that's uh, much better. And um, what we're going to do, we're just making sure hardness is zero. And uh, opac make sure opacity is 40%, make flow around the, uh, let's make it around 5%. And now if I start drawing, for example, I just draw like this. As you can see, it automatically creates these lines here. That's what we need, so we can just continue drawing like this. Let's continue. Okay, so this should be actually fine. And for example, if you look in my image, I have shadow here as well. But because I also applied a lot of color toning and color grading, and that's why the shadow looks here much better because the color of the image is different and so on. Here it looks a little bit out of place I would say but still it looks uh, fine. Another thing we need to do, we need to de delete this part of our shape so it's behind her ears. And uh, let's go and select it, it's the shape, let's create a mask. Let's take just a normal brush and let's make sure it's opacity is 100%, flow is 100% and hardness is 100% as well. And then make sure you have black color selected, make sure you select the mask. And now we just start deleting this part, okay? So we just delete it. Another thing I actually think would be, is uh, actually a good idea to do. So if you make this really small, the brush. And also bring hardness to zero. So if I just click once and then hold shift. So when you click once and then hold shift and click somewhere else, Photoshop is automatically going to create a line from point A to point B. So again, I click once here and then I hold shift and click somewhere else. As you can see, a line created. So for example, by doing that, I can actually create hair that kind of, you know, go uh, over the sunglasses, which uh, actually happens in real life as well. So if I zoom out, as you can see, it looks more realistic right now. So we just have to do more of these shapes here. So again, just create more like this. Just make sure no, not all of them are straight. Some of them have to be curved and so on. Oops. You can do more. Of course you can do more. So now uh, there are a few things that make this look not as real as here. First of all is the color grading, of course. So if you look here, the colors do not really match. We have to make our image more saturated. So to fix that, we can go here, select the uh, vibrance and then bring the vibrance up and also a little bit saturation. Okay, this is already much better. Another thing is that we need to make sure this, uh, this goggles actually don't look right. I mean, we have to bring them a little bit to the right. So this part, which goes up, has to be just above the nose because before it was like this which is kind of weird right so it has to be like this and now of course we'll have to move this as well so if we just take this and move it but before we do that make sure you go here and uncheck this link between the mask and the shape itself so if i click this so i can just move it right now okay and now we will need to make this bigger so if you just edit free transform and just make this bigger like this, again move it. Okay, much better. So now we can just go here and you know, just change it a little bit. So let's go to the mask, take our brush tool, make this bigger and just do a few changes. It actually needs to go a little bit lower. So let's take, we can actually take white color and bring back if you want, if you, if we, if it looks like that we took away too much. So perfect. I mean, you can still play with these colors. You can still go and go to free transform and then just, you know, rotate this a little bit like this. And press OK. So also you, it would be better if you could add shadow here. So again, if we just create a new layer, we go to, again, we take our brush tool and add some shadow. Just make the opacity around 20% and just add some shadow here. But
But as you can see, the problem is that right now the shadow is below this thing, so we need to bring shadow up. So we can just add shadow here. Much better. So that's it for this lesson, guys. I showed you how you can work with the 3D goggles, and if you want, you can try to create something like that. Again, as I said, it took me like three hours to create this, so that's why I can't show you everything in the tutorial. But still, you can just go to my website, learnfromfred.com, and start learning there for free for a whole month. So I hope you liked this because this was really tiring. <laughs> so see you guys on the next lesson. Bye.